Hello everyone, I'm Karen Manny. I thought I'd uh, go over a box set today. I'm going to be going over the John Lennon Anthology box set, which is a box set, a four CD set that came out in 1998. It contains unreleased um, demos, studio recordings, live recordings as well. And uh, there's all sorts you get in this box set, you know. It's very good box set, very interesting box set. And I'm going to tell you what we get in here. We're going to look through all the four CDs and the book. And as well, we're going to talk about this highlights album called Once Upon a Time. It came out about the same time. So there's going to be a lot in this video. So we're going to start with the anthology box. Here's the front. I really like that front cover. With the Oh, <laughs> that's the front. I like the front cover with the... The clouds in the sky, and the picture of John sitting in a chair. Yeah, it's very nice. It's a side, the back cover, and the other side, the top, nothing on the top, and nothing on the bottom. This came out in 1998. So I'm going to show you what we get in here. Just plain black on the lid. We get this nice photo of John at the piano. I think that's from the Imagine video. The sides where it kind of blends in. The back with handwritten lyrics for the song Beautiful Boy. It blends in again. And this is the what we're gonna get in here. So the name of the CDs are Ascot, which is the name of his home in in England. Um where he lived in the later day of the Beatles. New York City, at the Lost Weekend, and Dakota, which is the name of the apartment he was living in when he was assassinated. And you get the book. So we're gonna go over them one by one. Here's the first CD, Ascot. The songs we get on here. Um, this focuses on his first two solo albums. So, Pla John Lennon, Plastic on a Band, and the album Imagine. Very interesting recordings in here, particularly Imagine Take One. That's a very that's a really good version of Imagine there. Imagine Take One. Um, I also really liked uh, the version of um, What in Class Here, which is just him and the acoustic guitar. Um, I Found Out, which is an acoustic demo. Which was later recorded for Plastic and Band. That's a, um, the acoustic demo version. Um, so, yeah, there's quite a lot on here. And a re rehearsal version of Give Peace a Chance as well. There's the inside with a quote from John or something. He says, Sometimes you wonder, I mean, really wonder. I know we make our own reality and we always have a choice, but how much is pre ordinaire? Sorry. That's a nice picture of his house, and there's a picture of John there. And the discs, they all look like that, with a nice photo of the sky. Next one up is New York City, which is a, one of his, a drawing of the Empire State Building. No, the Statue of Liberty. That's quite nice, and it's a boat. <laughs> There's songs. This focuses on his uh, Mind Games and Sometime in New York City album. Um, see, there's some interesting. Oh! <laughs> CD. Some of the synth is broken. We get another quote from, a quote from John, another quote. It says, If I'd lived in the Roman times, I'd have lived in Rome. Where else? Today, America is the M Roman Empire, New York is Rome itself. Very interesting. CD again, and a photo of a, some building. Don't know what, what that is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. The Lost Weekend, which is a uh, yeah, really good one. These are Mind Gate, uh, Walls and Bridges and Rock and Roll Sessions, these ones. Uh, the version of what you got is really interesting. It's just him and the acoustic guitar before, just before he recorded it for Walton Bridges. Um, there's some interesting stuff in here. 
song called Strangers Room, which was later I'm Losing You, I think, which later became I'm, I'm Losing You. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to say the track from here. I like uh, the song Real Love, which later the Beatles recorded from John's demo. Um, I like the live version of Imagine. Some interesting live stuff in here as well. So, there's a photo of John when he did the concert with Elton John in Madison Square Garden. And I quote, uh, says, yes, we were separated in the early 70s. She kicked me out. Suddenly I was a, I was on a raft alone in the middle of the universe. I was trying to hide what I felt in the bottle. It, I was just insane. It was the lost weekend. Nice. See, there's a CD. And a picture of the palm, of a palm tree. Really nice. Because John spent most of his lost weekend in L.A., Los Angeles. Here's Dakota. Quite an interesting draw drawing, actually, because it's there's Sean, Johnny Yoko's son. There's a photo picture of John, and you get a, a the, the John on the Abbey Road cover with the beard, long hair, and glasses. That that's him. There's the uh, songs. Quite interesting, you know. There's a really nice version of Grow Old With Me, which had an orchestra added to it. You know, it were, the original piano and drum machine version was on Milk and Honey, but uh, they've added orchestra to this version, which is really good. Um, there's a really good version of Watching the Wheels on here, which is just him and the acoustic guitar. Um, um, so there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. Open it up. A quote from John. It says, uh, It's the fear of the unknown. Unknown is what it is, except that it's unknown and plain, and it's plain sailing. Picture John and Yoko. And that's the, I think that could be the doorway to the Dakota. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're uh, going over the book. Right, okay, so uh, here's the book. Quite interesting. It just opens up like this. There's John. There's that. And some A to Z from John Lennon. Yeah. So there's quite interesting stuff in here. There's the front. Really like that photo. So this is what we get. Nice pictures. Introduction by Yoko Ono. A poster prom promoting the Happy Christmas Wars Over single. There's John Lennon with the producer Phil Spector. There's a picture of him and Elton John on stage, 1974. Once Upon a Time, <laughs> which is the name of this CD, in fact. But it's spelt uh, differently. All in All by Anthony D. Curtis. Don't know who he is. Somebody's wrote my notes. An apple pie bed. <laughs> John was quite funny with drawings. Something cool. The FBI. A picture of the FBI and it says, um, want to come over tonight and hear some of my John Lennon tapes. Not too sure what that is. And written back from John and a picture of John there in the studio. Nice picture of John with the acoustic guitar. The lyrics to all the songs. And a nice picture of John and uh, Sean on holiday somewhere. And it tells you about all the, the who plays on what track and what they were recorded from. Okay, so we're now going to talk about the Once Upon a Time CD. 
anthology. Before I do that, I've forgotten a CD that's related to the anthology, so I'm just going to go get that. Right, so uh, we're back. Um, I'm going to show you these two. Uh, this was the one I forgot to get out for the video. Um, this is one called John Lennon Acoustic. This came out in 2004, so six years after the anthology. So it's got some tracks that were originally released on anthology, but then re-released on here as well as some other demos from John. And this one has a nice book as well. Peter John, the guitars, lyrics and chord sequences for the these versions. It's a really good photo there. The chord sequences. Yeah, this is. I would recommend getting this one as well as the anthology box. I would also recommend getting the Once Upon a Time if you're a completist like me. This has got nice drawing and drawing. I would like it if they put the anthology box out in vinyl. You can get this on vinyl, but it's really hard to get now. So I'm hoping they put out a reissue of this and the anthology box on vinyl and the acoustic on vinyl too. There's that songs. We have a attached book. Fire notes. Lyrics. And some photos. Nice picture of John and Yoko by the pyramids. John saying, This is my story, both humble and true. Take it to pieces and mend it will do. Oh, thank you for falling out. So that's kind of pretty much it for the anthologies, you know. You can also, of course, you get, you know, Be the Beatles put out an anthology of unreleased material. Anthology 1, of course we all know these. Anthology 2. And Anthology 3. So, they're really interesting albums. So that's the uh, anthology by John Lennon video done. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, if you've got any ideas for videos, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do about the video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you again soon.